we talked about as a staff that uh, how important it was for us when we opened the doors to, to treat people with dignity and respect, and we wanted it to be a real welcoming environment. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. She's not cute or what? Well, that's long. It's got to be long. of eligibility a lot of our older kids are classified with multiple disabilities or uh, have intellectual disabilities in the severe range uh, most of our school-age kids are nonverbal hey. oh, oh, everybody good loves uh, most of them uh, need some assistance moving around you see a lot of kids in, in, in wheelchairs Many of our kids have medical uh, medical needs. We have a lot of kids with seizure disorders. We've got a handful of kids that come to school with their own nurse. Uh, most of the time, that, that typically means they may have a trachea and, and need some suctioning throughout the course of the day. Four. Check, two, three, four. We also have, have standards just like the rest of the school, uh, but ours are, are extended. You know, one of the, the real, the, the tough things as the kids get older, we want to make sure that we're exposing them to to, to age appropriate needs, but at the same time, you know, work with their developmental level. Um, so we, we, we want to do that. And then the same, we also need, need to work to make sure our kids are going to be as independent as possible. You know, it, it's, uh, we, work, we work a lot on, on communication. I think maybe it's oversimplified or whatever, but I, I think one of the most important things that we can do with our, our, our students is help them talk back to the world.